Hello there, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 5. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 44. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Gran Turismo Rally in the intermediate difficulty. For that, we need to buy our own car, because unlike most special events, the game does not provide us with one. I'm going to be going for this Subaru Impreza 2010 model, however. You can use basically any four-wheel drive car you want. The power limit is 345 horsepower. So that basically restricts you down to the typical road going rally cars, think Evos, Imprezas, cars like that. Anything of that sort will do well for this and of course as we saw with the beginner stage of the Gran Turismo Rally you do get the gift of a base road going rally car as your prize car from that so technically you can use whatever you get from that. Uh, I think I got an Impreza WRX 2000s model, I just wanted to use the 2010 because it's a little bit different uh, and as you know with me I like to use as many different cars as I possibly can throughout an LP but obviously you can use whatever you wish. As you can see here I am buying the tyres which are very crucial so you need to buy dirt tyres, snow tyres and a set of sport tyres for the dirt, snow and tarmac rallies respectively. Uh, you are also going to see I upgrade the car quite a bit here. This isn't so much for the dirt and snow rallies, it's more for the tarmac rallies which we have seen can be a little bit of a problem but honestly I don't think you really need to upgrade the car nearly as much as I do here. Also just looking at the cosmetic stuff, nothing interesting. Uh, so we can finally get on with the Gran Turismo rallying. So of course special events go over to this Gran Turismo rally intermediate unlocks at level 15. And as you can see, gravel, dirt, or oh, gravel, snow, and tarmac are the events. Now, as we have previously seen with the Gran Turismo Rally, all of the stages in this are random. Let me repeat that. All of the stages are random, so your gameplay experience will differ to mine. As a general rule of thumb, usually it puts the smaller stages first, so you'll only do a very small sprint stage, you know, which is usually like 1.5 miles, something like that. You'll do that first up, and then the stages will get progressively harder, and then it usually slots in a sort of short stage at the end, I find, but other than that, uh, there doesn't really seem to be a general rule of thumb. At the start of each one of these stages, you will have to do a standing start. This standing start takes forever because you are part of a four-car group. Of course, as we saw last time, uh, you're facing off against three other AIs. You're the last car in the train, and yes, this has to happen every single time. You queue up, you wait. I don't know how long this takes. Probably about 20-25 seconds, but it feels like an eternity. And then you get a countdown, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you can hear, you get a co-driver, uh, however he's not really necessary considering there's a map in the middle of your screen. If you've watched the Gran Turismo Rally uh, beginner stage, this will all sort of be very repetitive stuff to hear. So the snapping starts take forever, uh, the dirt and the snow courses are incredibly easy, the tarmac is a little bit more difficult. Uh, you get a penalty for substantial hits to the front of the car. Uh, however, the sort of side and rear doesn't seem to be quite sensitive, so you can uh, cheese quite a few things and do a few wall bumps to go around the corners quicker if you need to do that. Uh, the key biggest stage from intermediate to the or from beginner to the intermediate stage of the rally is that in the intermediate difficulty. It is five stages per event as opposed to the three stages per event uh, that we saw. Uh, as you can see as well, every car in the field is just a road going rally car, which I'm assuming is slightly modified, a Lancer, a Delta and another Lancer. So we're flying the flag in our blue Subaru compared to everyone else's mere red cars, which aren't as good as the blue cars, obviously, naturally. Um, I'm going to do some adjustment. No, I'm not. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded this. Oh yeah, traction control for some reason was on. That was it. Um, for some reason, traction control is on on this. I don't remember that being a problem with the beginner stage. But it is in this one. So just bear that in mind uh, to turn traction control off. 
uh, before the start or before you first run out because obviously the car's uh, traction control is controlled independently car from car which I'm not really a big fan of but that's just the way Gran Turismo uh, does things. Other than that then, there's not really too much to discuss between this and of course the beginner stage of Gran Turismo Rally because it's all the same sort of things, you know, dirt, snow, tarmac, dirt's pretty easy, snow's pretty easy, tarmac not so much. So because it's all pretty much the same, uh, I'm not going to be sticking around too much longer on this commentary session, so I will see you when the snow stages start for a brief little interlude. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
seven right. One thousand. And as we get to the end of the Dirt Rally then, uh, we do quite well, it has to be said, because of course we do. It's the Gran Turismo Rally. The uh, Gran Turismo AI have never been particularly strong in rally techniques. In fairness, I did over-upgrade the car, uh, which isn't ideal, but still there you go. Uh, 6.54 is our overall time, and we get 91,000 credits, so... That basically pays for the car and all the upgrades that we did to it, so at least you're making money via that way. Anyways, on to the Alaskan Rally, or the Snow Stages, and once again the field is pretty much rally cars as you'd expect. There's an Impreza in this one though, and an Audi Quattro, so it's not all red cars when it comes to the Snow Stages. Um, the snow Stages, not particularly difficult it has to be said in fact they're even easier than the dirt rallies in my opinion uh, it's a little less traction on the snow but then again it's just the AI also have less traction and they don't know how to deal with it quite as well so yeah snow not particularly difficult as I said previously um, five stages per event and as you saw with the dirt uh, so five stages per event, so again, a relative cakewalk. I will see you at the end of this because honestly, there's not too much more to discuss with the Gran Turismo Rally.
three left. Two right. One right. Five left. Two right. Three left. Three right. Four left. Three right. Two left long. One hundred. Four right. Four left. Five hundred. Five right. Four right. Six left. Three right. Five left. Five left. One hundred. Finish. Two right long. Two left. Five right. Three left. Two left long. Four right. One right, five left. Three left, two right. Two left long. Two right. Three left. Three right. Two 
two left, three right. Thousand.
six left, four left, one right, four hundred, Three right. Finish. So did you see what I did? I told you the snow rallies would be incredibly easy. As you can see, might have Kate walked the field quite a bit. So he was 19 seconds ahead on the dirt rallies, onto the snow rallies, and uh, well, we finish a minute and 49 seconds ahead of the other Impreza. So maybe if you're struggling with this, start with the snow rally because it's easy. In fairness, this was a lot longer at a stage than the dirt rally, but even still. Another 91,000 credits, so that's basically our nice little victory royale payment. Wonderful and good. On to the tarmac rally, which is not going to be quite as fun. This is the Tuscany tarmac rally. Uh, we've seen the Tuscany road courses quite a few times in this game. We've got two Imprezas and an Evo. No red cars in the tarmac rally on this one. But yeah, as we've seen previously, the Tuscany tarmac rally, not quite as good because the AI, with this being on the tarmac, they're a little bit more useful. They know what they're doing. These are very winding courses and not particularly fun. Uh, I'm going to make some... I, I'm just going to buy soft sport tires just in case because they can be a little bit ridiculous when it comes to the tarmac so yeah do bear that in mind uh, this is not going to be quite as easy although admittedly you can take an exchange for a car so i'm going to continue to be using the four-wheel drive in pretzel although in all honesty if you are struggling with this you can swap the car out for any 345 horsepower car you've got in your garage uh, I'm sure, I mean, hell, you could probably use one of those um, GT300 cars for this if you're really, really struggling for uh, for traction and to do this. But yes, this is going to be a little bit more of a struggle than the Snow Rally. The Snow Rally definitely lures you into a false sense of security, whilst this one's just prepared to absolutely make you in the teeth. Anyways, I, there's not a lot more to say about the Tarmac Rally. Uh, good luck in this one, and I will see you at the end of this where we discuss payments and prize cards. Woo! Six right, one hundred, finish.
1,000.
500. Finish. Two left long. Seven right. Two right. Two left long. Seven right. Three right. Seven left. Two left long. Two right. Six left. Two left long. Four right. Two left long. Three right. Two right. Three left long. Four hundred. Seven left. Two left, five right, one hundred, five left, three right, three left, two right, Two left long. One fifty. Finish.
three left. Four right. Four left. Three left. Three right. Two left long. Three right. Two left. Two right. Two left long. Five right. One right. Right, three right, six left, four right, two right, two left long, five right. Two right. Five left. Two left long. Two right. Two left. One hundred. Three right. Three left. Seven right. Two right. Six left. One hundred. Two right. Two left long. Two right. Two left long. And so here we are. Our road is almost at a close with the Gran Turismo Rally. Ultimately, the intermediate experience and the reason I haven't commentated so much over this one is just because there's not a lot to say. Uh, between this and the beginner. It's just simply a harder version of the beginner rally that takes longer and the rally Certainly takes a while although you haven't seen anything yet the professional difficulty That definitely takes a while. That's an almost two hour video. I think so uh, Definitely not looking forward to that one and there will not be much commentary over that one because there's just not a lot to say About it once you've done the beginner stage and you figure out the co-drivers there all the stages are random and how many stages you've got per day it's pretty straightforward it's rally it's not quite as good as having the pre-built courses that we had in previous Gran Turismo games but it's still fun and it's nice to see they put a little bit of effort into it with getting you a co-driver and I guess all the stages being random does uh, give you uh, remove the aspect of course knowledge although of course you've got a map which kind of ruins that Anyways, the prize for completing the Gran Turismo Rally is a modern rally car, and well, there's quite a lot of those, and by modern I mean modern-ish, because I actually end up with a car from the 90s here. So you can get anything from the modern 2008 WRC machines to uh, one of the Gran Turismo classic rally cars, and indeed that's what I get. Uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4 rally car. I believe this was Tommy Mackinnon's first title winner? No. 
Tell me if I can remember his winning titles before this, I think. Six, five... I think he might have won it in the free. I'm not sure. Anyways, there you go. That is that. Let's go take a quick look at the car we got. Um, to be fair, I'd rather have one of the more modern rally cars because they are a little bit more competitive in terms of their PP points and stuff, but never mind. Here you are, 276 horsepower rally car. Cool thing. Certainly not a big fan of the Evo 4. I think it's the weirdest looking of all the Evos. Definitely my least favourite of all the Evos, but... It's still a cool car, not of the less. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the Sebastian Loeb Rally Challenge. So there's slightly more to discuss when it comes to the next episode of rallying. Either way, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a farewell. Break from the bruises of life and everything that lay in the pool.